In this screencast, I'm going to show some of the features of the IntelliJ IDEA integration in JProfiler. You can install the JProfiler plugin from the Plugin Manager or from the JProfiler UI, and the plugin will add some buttons to the toolbar here next to the Run, Debug, and Coverage buttons, and that's because profiling with JProfiler in IntelliJ IDEA is just another execution mode like the debugger or the coverage runner and everywhere you can run something you can also profile it for example by clicking on the gutter icon here you get a profile action in the context menu the project that I'm going to profile here is the JClasslet bytecode viewer it's available on github and it's written in Kotlin so let's start a profiling session I've profiled this run configuration before and JProfiler remembers my settings on a per project basis. For example, I've configured some filter settings for call tree recording. I've set an initial recording profile for recording CPU data on startup. And I've told JProfiler to save and open a snapshot when the profile JVM exits. This is actually the default when profiling a test runner. As soon as we click on the OK button here, the application is launched and profiling starts. Let's just use the UI a bit in a random fashion and then look at the recorded CPU data in JProfiler. Another important part of the IDE integration is the ability to show the source code for methods and classes that you see in JProfiler. JProfiler has full support for Kotlin source navigation, which means that it can take these mangled names here and find the actual location in the source code. Let's try it out. We right click a method and then select the show source action from the context menu. Now we can see that in the run tool window, there is a JProfiler tab, and at the top of that tab, there are a couple of actions. The leftmost action here is the window switcher. JProfiler and IntelliJ IDEA are two separate processes, but because JProfiler is present in both processes, it can organize seamless window switching without any flashing items in the taskbar or in the dock. The actions on the right side of the toolbar are recording actions. You can control and see the recording states for CPU recording, allocation recording, and all the various probes. JProfile's IntelliJ IDEA integration also integrates profiling data right into the IDE. The appropriate data for that purpose is the call graph. Each method has a single node in the call graph, just like each method has a single source code location. And that's where profiling data and source editors fit together. Let's apply a call graph for the runnable thread state. The tool window now shows a table with hotspots that provide you interesting entry points into the call graph and you can navigate to them by double clicking on the rows. The gutter now shows icons for incoming and outgoing calls and can be used for navigating along the call graph. The navigation pop-up shows you invocation times, invocation counts, and an inline graph that visualizes the relative importance of the calls. At the bottom there is a show in JProfiler pop-up that contains an action that activates the call graph for this method. The second of these actions allows you to switch to a tree-based view in JProfiler for the current method. This is a call tree analysis of accumulated outgoing calls that's nested beneath the call graph. For incoming calls, a backtrace analysis is available. All these navigation actions are also available on the hotspots table and, of course, as keyboard shortcuts. Profiling a run configuration is not the only way to integrate with JProfiler. For example, you can use this button here to attach to a running process and use the sources in the current project. Or you can open a JProfiler snapshot from within IntelliJ IDEA. 
JProfiler settings that are specific to a run configuration can be found on the Startup Connection tab. You can choose whether the profiling settings should be project specific or run configuration specific. And you can choose to skip the session startup dialog if you profile a run configuration repeatedly. Remote application server run configurations provide a small integration wizard on that tab. JProfiler supports profiling a wide range of run configurations. And when profiling a particular run configuration is not possible, using the attach action is always an option. 